you how to calibrate your pH meter. I have tons of requests. So many people have difficulties with this particular pH. In fact, they castigate it. They tell you this pH meter is so useless. It doesn't read. It doesn't do this. That doesn't do that. The point is, or the question is, how long do you stay to calibrate your pH meter? So many of you believe that you calibrate your pH meter once and that's it. That's a huge lie. If you're working with any pH meter, be it the advanced one that people believe in using, I don't have it here right now, I would have showed you guys, but in my subsequent video, you'll see me use it. But the reason why I'm doing this illustration with this particular pH meter is because it's the one that most people, especially new formulators, tend to lay their hands on. And it's quite cheap, quite affordable. But the problem with this pH meter is that it, it needs to be calibrated each time you want to use it, especially if you're not a regular formulator. Maybe you formulate maybe once in two weeks or once in a month. Maybe you're just doing products for yourself. Then anytime you want to use this, you have to calibrate it. You, if you don't calibrate it, it will give you stupid figures. If you do not calibrate it, it will not read you see it's just fluctuating and you keep adjusting the pH of your product until you end up ruining the products that you make. So, I have three buffer solutions here and you'll be needing 250 ml each for the buffer powders, all right? You need 250 ml. Don't go below that. I know some of you will be like, oh, how can I waste 750 ml just to calibrate a pH meter? You need it. That's why you're from later. That's why I would say natural and organic is expensive. So, you need to get 250 ml pour in your powders in and make sure it dissolves all right so what you do is some ph meter come with just two buffer um, powders so if you're having two buffer then you need just 500 ml and 250 ml extra neutral water that you'll be using to you know rinse it each time you dip it into any solution all right so i've dissolved the buffer solution in all this because that you're seeing here and you just want to Turn on your pH meter. Once you turn on your pH meter, you're gonna start. If you're having the if you're having the the buffer, if you're having three buffers, you have to start with the mid one, the one in the middle. That's the 6.1. You dip your pH inside. That pH meter has two buttons: the one that says on and the one that says calc. So once you dip it in and it's finished reading, you have to press the calc for five seconds. You Count one, two, three, four, five, and it will read. And once it's finished reading, it will tell you end. It will it will read right on the screen end. That means you've done that successfully. You take your pH meter and dip into your natural water without any buffer powder. Clean it properly and be be careful not to ruin the the sensor that it's in that is under that um. That is under the pH meter. How do I put it? You will see it if you flip it. You see it like a bob. Don't ruin that. That's a sign. So if it's if it's if if you get it broken, then the pH is ruined. You can't use it anymore. So you go on with the acidic um, solution now, where you have your acidic powder, uh, your buffer powder poured in. Then you dip it. I'm showing you the button that you have to press. That's one that says calc, not the off. An on button you have to press the one that says that says calc so when you dip your pH meter into the water make sure it's finished reading I'm trying as much as possible for you guys to see that it has to be stable before you click on that calc and count one two three four five once you count one two three four five it will finish reading it says 4.01 and it will write end at the end of it once you're done with that you bring it down bring it out dip it into your natural water without any buffer powder clean it properly be careful like i said not to ruin it and wipe it down with your paper towel and do the last um the last um solution that says 9.18 now for any reason if you do the last one and it tells you error you have to start all over again you have to do the process 
all over again that means you didn't do it properly because if you do not do it properly the the last solution will tell you error do you understand so when it tells you error you have and it's applicable to all ph calibration as an all ph meter depending on um the, the the type that you buy once you don't get the last process done properly it will tell you error that means you have to go back and repeat the process till you get it and you can see i'm doing the last one and i'm going to just press it and it gives me the figure you see one nine point one eight as it is in the as, as it has come with the buffer powder once you're done with this you rinse your ph meter into your uh, in the natural water and do well to store you have to store your ph in um you have to store it moist all right don't ever store your ph meter super dry don't do that if you do that it's not it's not um how do i put it it's 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 not the proper way to store your ph meter you just have to keep it moist all right so it does not um um how do i put it so especially if you're the type that formulate every every day or every other day so that you don't need to start calibrating it every day that you want to use it at least use it for the period of one week then you can calibrate and how do you know that your ph meter is no longer um uh, or how do you know that your ph meter needs to be calibrated once you dip it in and it keeps reading and fluctuating and it's not stable please calibrate it. especially when you're working with acid-based products when you're working you want to make your serums it's important you calibrate it because if you don't calibrate it you'll not get the right figure and some of you will not calibrate your ph meter you put in you, you use it to take ph of your product and you say oh, this you ruin the product while you're trying to adjust the ph that's not the way to do it calibrate your ph meter each time you want to use it and you get the accurate figure if you enjoyed this video can you give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're here to do so leave me any questions and query under the on that description box and i'll attend to it until i come your way again i love you guys bye